This is the Ender 3 from Creality. It's one of the most popular 3D printers that there are, and people have modified the hell out of this thing. People have added drawers, lasers, and there's upgrades out there that allow you to make the max printing size even larger. One of the more popular and more easier upgrades is to make the max printing height even taller because it only consists of longer rails and a longer screw. But with those, it's kind of expensive for what you're getting, and I always thought that you could make it taller. I thought about what sorts of parts and objects I could make with a printer so tall, so I decided to make my 3D printer six feet tall. One of the first things that we need to do is relocate the power supply because I don't want to drill holes into our newly bought extrusion. So yeah, let's do that. This is the bracket that I printed in order to relocate the power supply to the back of the machine because it mounts on one of the side rails. This is the footage of me splicing the wires, which took a long time. This is where I'd put the footage of me and my friend Andrew assembling the printer. And then this is it assembled, with all the wires in place, and everything good to go. I added this concrete slab in order to reduce vibrations, which it has a lot of. And then this is it standing on top of said concrete slab. The first tall print on this printer is done. Uh, I'm about to pull this thing off of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It looks a little scuffed, but considering how long it goes until it starts to have uh, deformation and print defects, that's really good. I printed this tube to see when it would start to wobble, and I could not believe this was my first try, only having to replace the rails, the screw, and do some adjustments in the slicer settings to get it to print. But there's something that we need to improve about the printer. After talking to some family, I came up with this wall mount idea to stop the frame of the printer from rocking back and forth. After doing a quick test and changing a few things on the printer, I went to sleep. I have woken up and I am very happy because the printer is looking pretty good. There's no gaps in it like the last tube. And um, there's only minor shifts in it. It's hard to see on camera, but this is looking very much better compared to the first one, so I'm very happy about that. I changed several settings from the last print, which isn't the most thorough research or science, but did you expect serious signs from a guy that looks like this? I also added these bungee cords which support the wires when the print head is more towards the bottom. Then I wanted to print something tall, but not too tall. But before we do that, I decided to add some lights to the machine just to make it look a little cooler. This is the print that I came back to, and it looks super cool. Let's get this off the door. I found this model online of Burj Khalifa, which in real life is the oh. tallest building in the world. Oh, that's sick. This model is awesome, and it stands at 822 millimeters tall, and it uses way more filament than it needs to, but I love it. Thanks for watching the video. This thing was super fun to build, except for the parts that weren't, which were most of them. This thing got me really excited and I can't wait to print some more stuff on it in the future. And there was a point during the making of this video where I knew I kind of had to kick it into high gear because uh, there's a video from 3D Jake where he makes this 3D printer a meter tall. And by kicking it into high gear, I meant procrastinate for the next like six months. Next video will come out in a more reasonable time frame and not 10 months from my last upload, which that video kind of sucked, let's be honest. I'm super proud of this model despite its imperfections, and I know that I have to improve my 
printing game if I want to be able to print tall stuff. And I have an example right here. This was meant to be a coat stand. I designed it in Fusion and the top of it got really unstable. All these legs started to wobble and you can see the texture right there. So I'll improve this whole thing and we'll get some nice parts. As well as my print settings, I need to actually make this thing be able to print six foot tall things. The rails and the screw are different sizes. So that'll be the next thing, the most important thing I have to do. And I'm thinking of adding way more upgrades, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. And if you're a nerd like myself and wanna try something like this, the parts and files that I used are in the description below, as well as the songs I use in this video as well. The Open Builds links are affiliate links, so if you purchase from those, I'll get a small kickback. Okay, I got that all said. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh.